the story I'm going to share had a tremendous impact on my brain. I was playing with my doll in my home when I heard a sobbing voice coming out of our living area. I went to inquire and was shocked to see that my mother was crying. I had never seen her before like that. I asked her why she was crying but she did not respond. She tried to hide her tears. I insisted but was unable to make her share her pain. That incident remained alive in my brain throughout my life. A few years later, I again asked the same question, Mama, why did you cry without any reason at that time? Amazingly, she also remembered. With a smile and moist eyes, she replied, I have no son. I hoped after my first daughter, I would give birth to a son. But it was you. Due to which, the society has a kind of disrespect for me. I cannot help your father to get someone who can continue his name. I stood motionless, listening to every single word coming out of her heart. However, she added that now she is more strong and more ignorant to the social beliefs and views. Throughout my life, I realized that no one on this planet could love, care and support me and my elder sister like my parents. They never showed us the regret of not having a son. They treated us like their sons. As a result, we, their daughters, widened our minds and proved that we are not behind anyone. We proved that daughters are also good, even they are far more better than sons. We both are well settled. My sister is running a business and she has earned a name and fame there. And I reached Canada with the combined efforts of me and my family. Thank you so much.